The motto is the city by the sea, and um, uh, we really thoroughly enjoy it. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't uh, get to the pier or go, go take a bike ride to the beaches. But those rides and beach trips have been cut short by a nasty lingering batch of red tide. It's been around for 10 months, and Venice residents just want answers. We're all sharing a blend of emotions. On any given day, I experience it all. Sadness, resolve, anger, desperation, but also hope. In a packed meeting, Moat Marine's top scientists, Dr. Michael Crosby and Dr. Richard Pierce, put on a presentation explaining red tide and answering questions from the Venice City Council. Dr. Crosby told the crowd this is a completely different situation from the blue-green algae that is found in more southern parts of the state. They say that is directly linked to Lake Okeechobee, but this red tide outbreak is not. The bottom line is that red tide is indeed a naturally occurring phenomenon that existed long before Europeans came to Florida. The type of intense bloom that we are experiencing now is not normal, but it's not unprecedented. But he also says we should not ignore the impacts that human activities do have in exacerbating um, the red tide events. Dr. Crosby says red tide can be worsened by nutrients found in fertilizers that end up in stormwater as it flows into rivers and creeks and eventually the Gulf. By controlling um, the inputs of nutrients from human activities, we will get a better handle and ability, I think, on getting our um, ocean ecosystems back into balance uh, before, but you will not get rid of red tide. Now, scientists say this red tide will eventually clear up, but since red tide is naturally occurring, there will always be another one on the horizon. Moat Marine is going to ask the state for $3 million a year, and their goal with that is to create an independent study group, a facility rather, where they can go and study this harmful bloom, go and study uh, red tide, and figure out if there's any way to decrease the effects of red tide in the future. Chris, back yeah, to you. Definitely a lot out there to study, and let's hope that it clears up uh, sooner rather than later. Thanks, Kim.